Welcome to this video, which is intended for people of little or no programming experience. In this video, we will write a competition program for your V5 VEX robot using the VEX C++ competition template in VEX Coding Studio. Let's start by opening up VEX Coding Studio by double clicking on your desktop icon or going to your programs. In the description of this YouTube video, there will be a link to the Google Slides which match this video. In that presentation, you'll be able to find live links such as the one on this screen which will take you to the download page for VEX Coding Studio. Click on the Examples Project tab and then click on the Choose button. Scroll down to the Competition button. Click on that button. Then click the Choose button again. Double click on the VEX C++ folder, then click on the competition template file, and click on open. Now drag a controller over onto the workspace. And then drag four motors over onto the workspace. Next, click on one of the motors and name it LDM for left drive motor. Click on another motor and name it RDM for right drive motor. Click on the third motor and name it ARM for ARM motor. And click on the fourth motor and name it CLAW for CLAW motor. Next we'll assign each motor to the port it's plugged into on the brain. To do this click on the pound symbol and then click on the port number for the motor on the brain. Next, click on the right drive motor and then click on the settings gear icon and click on the reverse box because the right drive motor is the mirror image of the left drive motor. You may find other motors you will need to reverse due to their orientation or the gear that they are driving. It's good practice to save your program periodically. So let's do that now by clicking on the selector triangle. Now type in the title red w g p on right for red alliance with the game piece on right. Type in a short description and then click save. Navigate to a location you'd like to save this program and then click Save. Next, click on the text button. The first section of the competition template is called the pre-autonomous functions. This is an area where you can declare variables, write functions, start and calibrate sensors, and write an informational screen to display to the brain. You'd write this code in the area indicated by the bracket. So you get a feeling on how this works, we're going to create an informational screen to send to the brain. Be sure you've clicked on the action button. Then drag over the brain screen set pen color. Next drag over a brain screen set fill color. Then scroll up a bit and drag over a brain screen set font. Next you can scroll down and drag over a brain screen draw. Scroll back up and last drag over three brain screen print at commands. Next let's edit these commands. Edit the set pen color to white so our font will be white. Edit the set font command to mono 40 to make the font bigger and easier to read. Edit the draw command to be 480 columns by 240 rows. This will give your brain a red screen. Edit the first print at command for column 20 and row 40 to start the text over a bit and down a bit on the screen. Between the quotation marks, let's enter our team number. I entered team 2019i. For the next print at command, edit to column 20 and row 80. 
to print this text under the last. Between the quotation marks, let's enter the name of our program. So type in red with GP on right. For the last print at command, let's edit it to read column 20 and row 120. Between the quotation marks, let's put the name of the game. Since we don't know what next year's game will be, let's type in the water game. It's good practice to test your code periodically as you finish a section. So let's do this. Make sure your V5 brain is on and the USB cable is plugged into the brain and your computer. Now click on the compile and download icon. Once the green box appears, you know your program has been successfully downloaded. To start a competition program without a competition switch or being hitched to the field, you'll need to follow a slightly different procedure. First, press the right arrow button on your controller. When the program shows up on the screen, press the A button. Select the red with GP on right program by pressing the A button again. When run appears on the screen, press the right arrow button to move over to the timed run. At timed run, press the A button. At the start match screen, press the A button one last time. You should have your controller start a countdown with a company controller rumble, and then the informational screen should show up on your V5 brain. Also notice the LEDs on your radio will be flashing green while running the competition template and not the red as they do with other programs. Now we know that our code is working. This would be a good place to save again by clicking the selector triangle and clicking save. The next section of the competition template is the autonomous task. This is where you can enter code for the 15 seconds autonomous period. The code will need to go in the area between the bracket. It's a good idea to think through what you want to do for the autonomous period. I like to use the double backslashes to write down comments for what I want the robot to do. For this autonomous period, I want it to move forward while opening the claw, turn right, move forward slowly, close the claw on a game piece, and then shake the game piece until the end of autonomous. Now to start the move forward while opening claw, let's click and drag over two motor rotate four commands and a motor rotate two command. For more information about these commands, please see my YouTube video on rotate two and rotate four. Next edit the motor commands to read RDM for the left drive motor, RDM for the right drive motor, and claw. Each of these lines of code are known as blocking code. In other words, the program will not move forward until the line of code is finished. There is an excellent article explaining this at help.vex.com. In our case, we want all three lines to play at the same time. So we're going to put a comma, then the word false after the PCT in both the rotate four commands to turn them into non-blocking lines. In order to make this code function, type in a wild command with an open parentheses. Click on the sensing button drag over a motor is spinning command, type in two vertical lines for the OR operator, drag over another motor is spinning command, now type in a second OR operator, drag over a third motor is spinning command, and lastly type in an open curly bracket. 
Now change the motors to read LDM, RDM, and CLAW. The next step is the most time consuming because you need to customize the measurements to match the action you want your robot to perform. It is very important that any structure on your robot which has a limit on how far it can spin, such as an arm or a claw, you do not want these to spin more degrees than they are capable of because it will cause your program to freeze at that point. It's best to download and try your code until you find the numbers which work. Let's change the degrees for the left drive motor to 360, the degrees for the right drive motor to 360, and the claw to 210 degrees. This code now reads, rotate the left drive motor for 360 degrees at 50% power and rotate the right drive motor for 360 degrees at 50% power and rotate the claw motor to 210 degrees at 50% power while the left drive motor is spinning or the right drive motor is spinning or the claw motor is spinning. The turn right code is going to be very close to what we just wrote. The biggest difference will be the left drive motor will be set to 820 degrees and the right drive motor will be set to negative 820. Turns, especially without the aid of a gyro, are very hard to execute. But remember, you have variables of power and degrees of rotation to play with, and you can even change the percent power to RPMs to help. The move forward slowly again is very similar to the last code. The only difference is we are going to change the percent power to 20. To close the claw, we can use the same code as above but we'll use 100 degrees. To shake the game piece until the end of autonomous, we're going to use a forever while loop. Type in while open parentheses, one close parentheses, open curly bracket. Then enter, now drag over a motor rotate to command, edit it to read arm and 300 scroll down the menu bar drag over a task sleep 1000 command and edit it to read 100 drag over another arm rotate command and edit it to rotate 100 degrees lastly add one more task sleep command and edit it to read 100. This code reads rotate the arm to 300 degrees, wait 100 milliseconds, then rotate back to 100 degrees, wait 100 milliseconds, and then repeat over and over. After you've compiled and downloaded this program, it would be a good place to save your program again. The last section of the computation template is the user control task. The user control code goes between the bracket. For this section, I'm going to use the code from my YouTube video, Tank Drive with Arm and Claw Buttons. To do this, let's start by clicking on the selector button and select open. Click on Tank with Arm Claw and then click open. Click the text button. Since the competition template already has the wild statement and the task sleep, we only need the code between. So click and highlight from in front of the LDM to behind the closed curly bracket. Then press Control C to copy the code. Next, click on the selector triangle, click open, click on the 
red with GP on right file and then click open. Next, click the text button. Now, click above the task command and then press Control V to paste in the code. You now have a completed competition code. Save it and then compile and download it to your robot. It's important to note if you are plugged into a competition switch or field control, you need to launch the program in the traditional manner. Press the right arrow key, press the A button at the program screen, press the A button again on your program, press the A button at the run screen. Your program will now be running, but it will not operate until it's activated by the field control. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There are many videos of competitions and instructions there. Until next time, remember, things are often better shaken than stirred.